Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you online. I'm Ping. I like you Chinese. You can call me Doda. Welcome to Doda's Chinese classroom. This lecture topic is listening Chinese easily. We use a new way to learn Chinese. That's use your English thinking and structure understanding to learn Chinese. This series of lectures are focused on how to be Chinese. It was said Chinese is one of the most difficult languages to learn in the world. But if you are familiar with the thinking way, structure, and the grammar in English, I'm sure you can learn Chinese very easy. By analyzing the structure of English sentence, we can compare and understand the similarities and difference between the structure of Chinese sentence and that of English sentence, so as to achieve rapid opening mouth and speaking Chinese. Let's start. As we know, a simple English sentence there are fine kind of English structure, that is, subject plus predicate, subject plus predicate and plus object. The third is subject plus predicate plus indirect objective and direct object. The fourth is subject plus predicate plus object plus object complement. The fifth is subject plus linking verb plus subject complement. And in Chinese sentence structure, is the same as English sentence structure. There are five kinds of sentence. The fourth is Zhu Yu Jia Wei, same as English. The second one is Zhu Yu Jia Wei, Jia Bing Yu. The third is Zhu Yu, Jia Bing Yu, Jia Wei Yu, Jia Bing Yu, Jia Bing Yu. The fourth is Zhu Yu, Jia Wei Yu, Jia Bing Yu, Jia Bing Yu, Bu Yu. The fifth is same Zhu Yu, Jia Xi Dong Zi, Jia Biao Yu. In these Analyze. We understand that in English structure is almost the same as Chinese sentence structure. As we know, in English sentence, they are subject. In Chinese, we call it Zhu Yu. It means the person or things that performs the action of the verb. And predicate in Chinese way is a verb. The third one is object. In Chinese, 
10 years is B. And the fourth one is linking verb. In Chinese, it's called Xi Dong Zi. So, we compare it, we get principle one. The simplest structure in simple sentence of English and Chinese are totally the same. Remember it. Keep in mind. According to principle one, we can try to make sentence in Chinese. Let's try. I study is the fourth sentence structure. Subject plus predicate. I study. And in Chinese, I mean 我. Study means 学习. So, I study in Chinese is 我学习. Okay, second example. That's the second example structure. I study Chinese. I, in, in Chinese, 我 study 学习. Chinese, Han. So, I study Chinese. In Chinese, is 我学习 Hi. Another three sentence. The third one is I told her the news. I told her ta the news. So I told her the news in Chinese is 我告诉了她这个消息. The fourth one is the story made me cry. 这个故事让我哭了. And the fifth one is I'm a student. 我是一个学生 Student in Chinese means 学生 So I am a student in Chinese 我是一个学生 So you can speak Chinese so easy because their structure is totally the same. Just like Washi John. He is a student. Ta Shi Yikashen. I'm eight years old. 我八岁了。The boy wants the book. 这个男孩要一本书。My family has a father, a mother, and two brothers. My family here is the subject. 我家 have is a verb predicate 有 a father, a mother, and two brothers is the object 爸爸, 妈妈和两个哥哥 
So, my family have a father, a mother, and two brothers. In Chinese, is 我家有爸爸, 妈妈和哥哥. T is going to watch movies. 他要去看电影. Jenny is being helping us. Jenny一直在帮助我们. Please attention. Those practice is not channel to speaking simple Chinese. Most important is to channel you understand the trunk of sentence in English and that in Chinese are same. Please keep in mind the principal one. So we give a summary. In English, there are five main forms of sentence, same as in Chinese. When we want to translate an English sentence into Chinese, try to find out the chunk of English sentence, and one by one, speak it out in Chinese. Thinking in English structure first and practice such a language capability as fast as you can. For Chinese learning, is it so easy? Only understand the basic structure in Chinese. Same as English can speak Chinese out easily. The answer may be yes. Let's look forward to the next method. See you. The next page is for you homework. So please do your homework and look forward to meet you in the next lecture. See you. Bye-bye.